Hi guys, AJ here. Today we're going to talk about lenticular displays from Apple. So Apple reveals work on a lenticular display that used in the context with a next gen TV and the Apple TV Plus service. So, which sounds pretty interesting. Um, they seem to be going somewhere that I don't think anyone else has gone yet. It sounds a bit sort of futuristic. Um, but earlier today, patently Apple discovered a very unique patent filing for Apple about a new lenticular display that they're working on. So, although it's the first time they discovered it in Europe, there is actually a US patent that was published on Thursday. And uh, Apple notes that their infantry, or shall I say inv invention, generally relates to lenticular displays. Now you might want to be wondering, what is that about? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. But the systems and the methods of the devices displayed in different content to different users. So if there's adults and children looking at the TV, the twist is the invention is context of the television using the lenticular display. It's weird. Um, but once I explain it in a bit more detail, you'll understand. So, the lenticular displays are capable of displaying different contexts with different angles. For example, when his viewer is watching something on one of these displays, for the first angle, the video clip is seen, and when the video in the on the display from the second angle and a different video clip is seen. So i.e. for two different people, maybe two different ages, uh, maybe even in two different languages. Um, so whereas someone, some lenticular displays display different content at different angles, it may be desirable that they display different content to different users while the user moves with the respective two the lenticular display. I want to say this word quite a bit. At first, it is thought that this kind of display could be used at Apple stores. So that when the customer walks through the store, the lenticular display would present a different video or a different Apple product, depending on the angle the user is viewing the display. That would be interesting. Would it not? Enough to see in the future. However, further into the patent filing, Apple provided an example that wasn't expected to find. One about the lenticular display used in context with television. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So I don't think this is going to be in the next Apple TV, but in future. So for example, Apple describes the patent for the first user may be associated with the metadata indicated in the first user has permission to watch television shows rated in the TV MA or less, whereas the second user is associated with the metadata indicated that the second user has permission to watch TV shows in PG or less. So I, it could be, there could be two versions of a show being shown. So one with maybe a bit more adult humour and the other one with less adult humour. Um, so it could be sort of more of a cut version. I don't know what sort of program you could use really as an example, but that's where they're looking to go with this, um, which is quite interesting. Um, so you haven't got to keep flicking in between channels or watch just one program, you can watch two programs at once which is pretty good, I and mean, it's a pretty good idea, but you'd have to use a big screen, you wouldn't be able to use it on a phone, maybe a fold phone or a folding iPad. Um, but there's also another way that it, they illustrated of a perspective view, for example, an operating environment at the first time. So for example, uh, oper operating an environment at the first time, um, where it would pick up and understand of what the user wants to watch, perhaps. Um, 
which is kind of key, I suppose, for this to really work. But further into the application, it got even more interesting in the respect of to the TV. <coughs> when Apple is describing a method associated with the lenticular display, they use the following scenarios. So we have to have scenarios here to make you understand a little bit better. So for example, in the various implementations, the first user is associated with a first subscription video service account. And then the second user is associated with a second subscription video service account and a respective next episode is displayed in each for each user. In various implementations, bloody hell, the method further includes determining from the first image a first vertical angle of the first user at the first time with perspective to the line oh my god perpendicular to the lenticular display and the first vertical angle the second user at the first time with the respective to the line perpendicular to the lenticular display and so there we are so what i'm going to do is in this video is show you some diagrams so you understand it a bit better but basically the tv can produce two versions um, for one subscription and the other subscription so say for instance you know you've got someone under 18 you don't want them to see some of the bits i'm not saying it's like pornographic but more to the fact that it could be about general news say for instance one of the news channels and also on that news channel they have a children's version of that um, like one one of our news channels here is FYI on a Sunday I think it is so they could then show that um, instead and the adult would see the adult version of that with the adult um, news readers um, talking about whatever um, so that's how it could be worked but then again sound you would have to have sort of like earpod pros in your ears both both the people so you could hear your side of the screen and they can hear their side because what's the point in them viewing something that they can hear because surely you're going to hear both sides the adult side and the child side so you'd have to both have earphones in so is that something that we could be watching in the future i don't know um I mean, surround sound is an amazing thing, but surround visual, how would that work? Uh, yeah, so that's something future, futuristic for Apple to maybe come out with before everyone else and before we can actually understand it. But yeah, it's, it's a good idea. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, subscribe. Thanks very much. Enjoy. Stay safe. Peace.